I think everyone loves the Heidelberg School. This is what we think of Australia. There's a sort of almost a quasi-religious veneration of these paintings. In the popular conception of this legend, women are invisible. But Jane Sutherland, she is a woman within this highly iconic group of artists, and she is a woman who performs as well as they do. Jane was one of the first professionally kind of trained artists, women artists in Australia. She studied at the National Gallery School in Melbourne, but she was quite unusual in, in one kind of respect because her family actually really supported her endeavours to become an artist. At the time, this, this was unusual. So she didn't have to get married, she didn't have to have children, and she could sort of, um, in a sense, devote herself to, to her work, which she did. A number of Australian Impressionists sort of working in the late 19th century would go out to the outskirts of Melbourne and draw and paint and sketch on plein air, so in the outdoors rather than in the studio. And so Jane was one of a small number of women artists who accompanied Roberts and McCubbin, etc., on some of these trips. The artist camps, they became iconic because the idea was that you went to an area and you sort of immersed yourself in the area. The men could stay overnight, the men could camp, the men could live roughly. Men had a lot more freedom. They could go swimming in the creek and things like that, but the women had to be seen to be respectable, so they couldn't stay overnight with young men with whom they were not married. Come nightfall, they had to pack up their paints, pack up their pictures, take them back to the city on the train. The Australian legend was very strongly focused upon men. Roberts in particular sort of painted heroic masculine labour, the shearing sheds, the stockmen, the drovers. Jane Sutherland was looking at women very much based on female activities within the landscape. and the unseen labour of so many women from cooking, cleaning, food production, food gathering. So there is a degree of importance in her reminding us that women were there contributing to the economy. Her art is transcendental. So few people actually talk about the exquisite beauty of her surfaces, they're almost abstract. They're sort of almost evocations, they're dreams of colour. Jane made a small body of work, but it is an important one. She had a stroke in the early 20th century and unfortunately it did kind of impede her career. So, you know, had that not happened, it would have been interesting to see what she could have gone on to do. Art professionals in Australia have chosen to ignore or sideline or forget the women who were working there at the time. I think also it's a global phenomenon. Even today, if you ask what is an artist, and people will still think it's a guy in a beret and a smock standing in a landscape in front of an easel. It's this sort of stereotype that we love so much that people cherish, and I think we haven't got the courage to ditch it and look at other types of artists.